Hello, I'm Martin from ZSK Germany. I work at ZSK as a service engineer. In this video today, we want to show you how to align the upper and bottom shaft on racer machines after it hits the frame. For the next repair, we need a square wrench, a stitch blade screwdriver, an 8mm pin, a Phillips screwdriver, a 6mm Allen key and a 2.5mm Allen key. The first three tools are, uh, are coming with the machine in the toolbox. If you try to run the machine after you have hit the frame, you can run on, ne on one needle, but if you want to try to do a needle change, the machine gives you an error message that tells us needle change is not possible because machine is not in right position. This is because upper and bottom shaft are not aligned. The machine is allowed to do a needle change between 57 and 71 degrees. If the machine is out of this range, we need to align upper and bottom shaft. To pin the machine and to block the upper shaft, we have to open the cover right side of head number one. Therefore, we have to lose the two Phillips screws with a Phillips screwdriver and remove the cover. The error message that you have seen in the screen before occurs because this sensor is not damped by the screw. This is a safety reason that nothing cracked inside the head when the machine tries to do needle change when it's slipped and the upper and bottom shaft is not aligned. In the next step, we have to release the brake to turn the upper shaft to pin it. Therefore, we have to confirm the error message. We have to go to service on L3. We are going to test machine attachment on R2. And here we are going to L7 main shaft position. And we can release the brake with the button right to ZSK. After we have released the brake on the T8, we want to turn the upper shaft. Therefore, we need to open the cover on the left-hand side of the machine. And we are using the square key that is delivered with all machines in the toolbox. It fits on the upper shaft. Here we have to turn counterclockwise because that's the running direction of the machine. So now we are going to the right side of head number one to pin the machine. Therefore, it makes sense to get a second person that assists you because one person can turn the main shaft, the other one can find the hole and pin the head. We have to pin the head here in this hole over the black clamping ring. Inside the head there is a take-up lever can that has a hole in it. These both holes we have to align and pin it, then the machine is blocked in both directions with a degree of 0.3 as tolerance. So, after we have pinned the head and the machine is blocked in both directions, we have to remove the cover over the needle change motor and the catcher motor. After we have slackened the two screws of the clamping ring, we are using the square wrench to turn the machine. Turn the machine anti-clockwise because that's the running direction of the machine and turn it to 136. If you're at 136, push the right button next to that SK logo, the jogging button to switch on the brake. Going here and putting the jogging button to switch on the brake. After bringing the machine to 136 degrees and switch on the brake, we have to tighten the coupling again. To prove if the upper and bottom shaft are aligned properly, we will check now the hook setting. Therefore, we have to turn the machine to the hook timing point that you find on a sticker on the first head on the right side. It has to be between 205 and 206. If this sticker is washed away by oiling machine or something, there is a second sticker 
that I will show you now. The second sticker is under the cover of the needle change and the catcher motor. Here you can find it. This machine has a hook timing point about 2.5 millimeters. That is between 205 and 206. If you have an older version, it has a hook timing point of 2 millimeters. There it is between 202 to 204. In the next step, we are turning the machine to the degrees that is shown on your sticker. Therefore, we have to release the brake. And then we are turning the machine with the square wrench to 205.3 on this machine. When we are at the degrees, we have to switch on the brake. Here we are removing the stitch plate, therefore we have to lose the two screws. Put the stitch plates by the side. Now we have to unlock the needle, therefore we have to push at this pin here. Take care that you are not pushing the spring out of it. Just push here, the needle falls down. We can push the needle down completely. Here we can see now that the needle is perfect in front of the hook tip. Then upper and bottom shaft are synchronous again. Here you can see that it's not correct. The needle is not in front of the hook tip. The hook tip is coming too early and it's already past the needle. If you have this problem, please contact your local agency. Now we have to turn the machine to manually to the stop position 64 degrees. Therefore, release the brake, turn the machine manually to 64 degrees and switch on the brake. After bringing back the machine to the stop position, we have to quit the menus and go back to the main screen. Here we want to try now a needle change. Therefore, we push R4, choose any other needle. We are taking one, for example, and confirming with the green button. A machine will do a needle change. The problem is solved. Now we will do a test run with the machine. After that, we are closing all covers. If the test was successful, you can close all the covers and you're done. Thank you for watching us. If you need further assistance, please contact your local agency. The contact details will be found on our website.